this is pretty exciting, guys. We started out with a goal last year. Once we built Topsy and started uh, showing it off to some customers, we had a goal. We wanted to build 10 trucks, five semi trucks, five pickup trucks for the retrofit kit. Well, I'm pleased to announce uh, we met that goal. We have signed the contracts to fill the positions and I wanted to take some time in this video to go over exactly what the next 10 trucks are gonna be. Truck one, that's going to be this tri-drive winch tractor, and that's going to be for Edison Motors. So we are building this truck for ourselves because we need a truck to be able to test handling, performance, programming, and we need to be able to take it to future customers, demonstrate it, show it off, offer some test drives. So that's going to be the first tri-drive winch tractor that's a BDE. Number two is the sister truck to that. This one is gonna be for Royal Oil Field. If you guys want, we have a whole video where we sit down with them and go over their truck project. Please go watch that, but we're excited. So these are gonna be two identical sister trucks, one for us, one for them. Truck number three, uh, that one is gonna be for MCON. If you want, make sure you go watch the video on the MCON snowplow. We're gonna put all these videos down in the link description where we go over that project. But I'm exciting, as you guys know, I ran a snowplow for a couple seasons. I think it's a great use of the hybrid application and MCON's a local shop in town in Merritt. That truck is currently being built in their shop right now. We're putting the frame rails, suspension, axles on, and that's the one that we got a $500,000 grant to build. So really excited about that project. All right, number four on the list. This is the one that means a lot to me. Uh, we're building a logging truck for Tokel. It's gonna be a tri-drive with a quad wagon. We sat down actually yesterday, That they were the ones that filled the 10th spot position, but this is awesome. For the last few years before Edison, I was driving a tri-drive with a quad wagon, hauling logs around here. I used to haul for Tokel, used to work for Tokel. My dad was a millwright for Tokel. We have a lot of history and background with Tokel. And it's really, really exciting to be able to partner with these guys to build a logging truck. This is gonna be the one that's the, like an ideal test of this. We're going uphill empty logging, grabbing the mount logs at the top of the mountain. We're coming down that mountain loaded to regen that, to head into the sawmill. So well, this is gonna be one of the toughest trucks possible. It's gonna be hauling 65 ton gross vehicle weight, 155,000 pounds off highway in the mountains. This is gonna be an extreme test of our truck and I could not be more excited to take on the opportunity. It's awesome, we're building the logging truck. So what we set out to do, it, we sold it. We were ordering in the frame rails. We're doing the engineering for it right now. So. We're hoping that those frame rails arrive uh, and it will be built concurrently with our truck, Royals truck, and the Tokel truck. Those will be the next three trucks after the three trucks that are currently in our shop and MCON shop having the frame rails done. Number five on the list, this is a project that is really cool and I'm not gonna be talking about it, but we've sold this truck to an undisclosed customer and it's an undisclosed truck. We're not saying what the truck is for. We can't say who the customer is. All we can do is give you this picture of the cab and the front of the truck. That is the truck that is right now sitting next to Topsy in our shop as a long series of frame rails. That's it, that's all I'm talking about. So let's move on to the pickup kits. Hey, a lot of you guys have been reaching out and asking, hey, how did you invest in Edison Motors? Well, I am pleased to announce to the public right now that investment is now open and live on our website, www.edisonmotors.ca. Right now, in the US, it's open to accredited investors only. Unfortunately, that's a rule of the US government that we're working on trying to find another way to let everyone invest, but that's the way it is now. In Canada and international, it's an open to accredited investors, and it, we're also doing a crowdfunding campaign that's open to everybody in Canada but that's only the crowdfunding maximum of 1.5 million, so that'll fill up pretty quick. So we're working on it, but if you're interested in investing in Edison Motors, if you believe in what we're doing and you wanna support us, please go to the website and consider investing. The first pickup kit we got is the older International pickup. That is our old World War II International pickup. The frame rails, because it's a 90 year old truck, we weren't sure we we're gonna handle the electric power and the torque, like it's just, it's. I don't know if we should put 600 horsepower under something that has a 90 year old frame rail. So we, we had a spare set of frame rails sitting in a shop that was for a different project, but we're gonna use those frame rails. We got the other axle on there. We're using this as a real test platform of like, what can we do with these things? So 
We're excited on that one. That's gonna allow us to test a lot of those programmings. That one is currently being built right there. Number seven, that is our project with the Boss Garage out in Ontario. Um, that's the one we're building the custom axles for. And this is what we're hoping to integrate in the future is that every single pickup truck had, they're not like semis where axles are really interchangeable. They have axle tubes that go into a differential and everyone has different spring hangers, steering linkages. So what we're doing is we're making that custom differential that we can take the two axle shafts, put them together, drop it under any one. And that makes the retrofit kits way easier to adapt to every vehicle on the road as long as it has a solid front axle. So Rich with the Boss Garage has been doing some fantastic work. Make sure you check them out to follow along with that project. Number eight on the list, also another project with the Boss Garage that we're doing there. That one's a little different. If you guys remember, those axles they sent us were a little bit too short because we didn't really care about the axles. We were gonna be cutting those up, but would have been nice. They would have been used for the 450, whatever. I'll own that mistake. I should have double checked that paperwork before confirming the order for what we ordered. But opportunities arose on that one is that because we had the shorter axle, it actually fit into an old Toyota Land Cruiser. And if you remember, I did a video where I was saying this mistake we made and it said, well, I guess it'd fit in like a Ford Ranger or a Land Cruiser. Turns out the mining industry uses these vehicles underground all the time. They don't want emissions underground. So they want to be able to go in underground on electric, leave on electric where they're not putting the air in. And they said, well, hold on. You said Land Cruiser, can you do a Land Cruiser for us? Because one of the problems is that we got to run around on the surface a lot, but now we got to buy one vehicle that goes on the surface, one vehicle underground. Well, if we're on top, we can fire up the generator or if we're an emergency underground, we can still fire up the generator and get back out. Yeah, we ended up selling that truck to a mining company and it's a happy accident, but another truck sold, another one we're building with the Boss Garage. Number nine on the list, is a project we are doing with Blaine from Boar Diesel. He's doing up this Dodge pickup truck and he's doing on a, the new vehicle on the programming. So those guys are experts at programming. They wanna rewrite the existing diesel engine that's in there. So rather than having to switch the whole motor, if you got a good motor and taking it out, you just attach the generator onto the back end, flash their tune, and then have that control the electric axle. So that's a cool project they're working on so that guys can keep their original motors. And then number 10, seems to be the way we do it on the last truck on this list, but that is an undisclosed service truck for a large company. So we signed a contract with a large company in Canada to work on retrofitting their service truck fleet. So we're doing up the first one with them. They want to announce more details here in the springtime. So we've got a signed contract, but they said, well, let's just let us do our announcement on it. We're working in a great partnership, but so stay tuned, there will be more information about the service truck project that's coming along, but for now, those are the 10 trucks we're building. I can't believe it. We got two trucks for ourselves, a semi truck, a pickup for ourselves, and the other eight trucks are going to amazing customers, partners. Yeah, that's it. So we're not doing any more truck sales. We're not taking on any more pickup sales. We're gonna get these pickups done right then we're gonna be bringing in our installers as we're doing with the Boss Garage and Bore Diesel as our first two installers. We're gonna be bringing up the other installers. Once these are done, we got the kinks worked out of them, then we'll be on to the next projects. And these next five semi trucks are going to be fantastic test beds. We're doing five. We don't wanna to do too many. Oh, there's been a lot of questions. Well, why don't you sell more and then just stack your production in the future? That's not the way I wanna operate. I wanna take the time and do an amazing job of each of these groups of five trucks, dedicate the time and the resources to making each truck absolutely amazing, getting every single kink worked out. As you know, Topsy works great, it goes out, it does the job, it hauls, the generator works, the batteries charge it, we got amazing torque, but we, there's little issues like programming three in one, there's an everything wrong with Topsy. Now, we've made those improvements to these next trucks, but we would be kidding ourselves if we say that the first five trucks we build for customers are going to be perfect. We're confident enough in our trucks that we can now give them to customers, but I'm not confident enough to start mass production or you could end up in a situation like another company where you hop to production of four or 500 trucks and then you find out you have major problems with that truck and recalls become a nightmare. I want it these to be the best trucks on the road, the longest lasting, and the only way you can do that is spend the time and energy dedicated to five. Five of these, five of those, get it right, do it right, then when you're ready, take the next step to production.